Welcome back, guys. We're still live. It's what, what women, women want. want. And I still, I still have the handsome As Brian and the beautiful Kiki. So beautiful people. Thank you. And it's only you. Thank you. And it was only you. Only you are saying thank you. Oh, no, I'm saying thank you on behalf <laughs> of the two of us. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's my cousin. Okay. Okay, now let's talk about uh, before we get to the stage of the wedding, mm. which is the proposal mm. and how women wanted these things. Mm. We had a situation recently where Petenzichi came out to say, you know, if you go down on your knees and you propose to a woman, you are a big fool. Mm. He said it there, you are a fool, you are a bloody fool, you are an idiot and all that. Now, let's come to the desires of a woman when proposing. Mm. How, uh, if, 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 if a woman, or you now first, mm. would you kneel down, would you do the extravagant proposal out in the public, kneel down, say, baby, you're my life, and all that stuff? Now, respect to, to, to Pete, Peter Doce, my mm -hmm. The, 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 African, the African king. Okay. <laughs> I was in a movie with him one time. Sounds like Lion very, King. Very though. great guy. He's a gentleman at all times, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I understand what he's saying, and at the same okay. time, you know, I, I have my reservations as well. Okay. Um, where, where did, where did the, the notion or where did the um, followership come from when you have to kneel down to propose okay. to a woman? Like, where did it start from? Was it, was it in the Bible or was mm. it... Instead of respect, respect. Jiget, now, if it's coming out of a thank you, because that's what I wanted to say. Now, me personally, if I wanted to to propose to you know to my girlfriend, I would like to do it in the most endearing, the most beautiful, the most respectful way I can do it. And normally, that comes with kneeling down. That makes you bloody fool. Do you get what I'm trying to say? That comes with kneeling down or showing some sort of, you know. I want, you know, I want to start this journey with you. Right. Okay. You know, I can't stand over you and tower over you and say, yeah. how far, just throw the wing and say, like what's, what's good? Would, like some people, for example, I've heard of some guys who say they don't need to propose with a ring, just take her to the house and marry. Just do engagement. Just, do engagement. just, do engagement. just say, I've seen your parents. Ring, that's, nothing. Yeah, that's, that's how they do it. In, I know some places in South Africa that they do that. Would you want, the, okay, no, you, you've already had like, that experience. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. coming from your own experience, um, would you have said, you know what, if my husband knelt or he didn't kneel, it didn't, it didn't, matter. It didn't really I matter? Still go ahead because people are placing too much attention on, on that. When Peter Jesus said that, I read some comments. Wow, woo. I like, was, yo. Wow, woo. Well, to, to be very honest, when it comes to relationship, there's no one way to it. People see, the, like, that's, I really came to what Brian was saying the other time. People see things differently. The person you're with would also tell you how you want things to be done. Mm. So if I'm dating mm -hmm. you, I know what you want, and I know how you want things to be done. It only makes life easy when you do things the way I want it to be done, mm. because then I would appreciate you more. Mm. So I always told my partner that I don't like public proposals, and I, I, even for bed, I hate trumpets. Don't, yeah, come please, don't, don't, don't blow trumpets trumpet on my head. I hate <laughs> trumpets. And guess what? We're already planning the introduction, and there was no proposal. Wow, so there was no proposal. So, well. yeah, there was a proposal actually. So, we're in London, and then my mom kept calling and said, Oh, you should, you should brand Dubai, you should buy this, you should buy fabric. And I, I was saying to him that. And then he had talked about the proposal like many months ago. So, I just asked, I'm like, Now, the introduction was like um, less than a month. So, I'm like, Are we still going to have a proposal? And I said, No, 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 like, whatever, just, let's just do the introduction. And honestly, I was fine with it. And then the next thing, wow. I saw myself on London High. I'm looking at London. Oh my and then someone is kneeling down. Oh, oh, you that's that's so sweet. And then white people are Where so are sweet. And, and they're like, clapping, marry the man. Oh my God. And then she said, oh yes. <laughs> I was so shy. You, you, you see, so in her case, she didn't really, like, it didn't really, mean, yeah. it didn't really matter to her at all. No, it didn't matter to me. It was not like a do or die affair. Mm -hmm. But when it happened, it meant the world. It meant exactly, yeah. yeah. Well, I've learned a lot, you know why? Because I'm getting married in like a few months, a few months' time. And I think it's really, really important. I think the person I told my husband to be mm. when we were planning, I told him, I said, you know what? I don't want any engagement ceremony. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because unlike you, who had, you know, somebody who sponsored, we don't have that. And I've just got my salary to rely on. Mm. So I told him, you know what? Let's forget the engagement. In fact, let's forget first introduction, all those plenty things. We do all the introduction, the pain of the bad pride, the traditional wedding. One day. That's what I that's thought. That's nice. You, you get but it. But, you get what you get. but then again, people are different. That's what works for you. Mm. It might not work for somebody else. So of you, course. It, it might not work for somebody else. Somebody might not agree no, you know, to you. you. But you know, you know the reason why we're talking about this? We're talking about this in the, in, in, in the context of where the man doesn't have enough and we have a woman who is pressing so for it, this. It's balanced. Let's, let's get their final thoughts. 
Because no, but you know, but for me though, I, I would say that there's no amount of money that is too much or too small it's to definitely. be spent on a wedding. If you ask I like me, that. it's about mm -hmm. what you can afford. Do you know that you can actually spend 200 million on a wedding and still owe? People I will even tell you they're not up. No, no see, I've not seen that wedding in this life. People will still go and know it. It's, it's, it's standard. <laughs> no, it's just, it's, no, someone will still tell you that it is. And maybe you chop two plates or what, five plates. Or so my point is, and, you know, for me personally, or my, when I was stepping into my engagement and my wedding, what I told myself is, I told myself and, and I tested it to God that God, it's going to be a glorious day. Yeah. I didn't care. If you see my, my videos, I was just dancing, yeah. jumping. I, I was happy. Yeah. I was excited because guess what? My wedding was 4th of January 2020 and it's wow. not going to happen again. It's a one-off. So I allowed myself and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not asking to be picking money on the floor because I'm wearing the decorator or I'm wearing the makeup artist. So it's just if, if, if the available budget is 10 million do 10 million. Mm. If the available budget is a million, do a million. If you can afford to do your engagement now and have an after party and after a week you have the wedding and have an after, another, uh, have an after party, that's okay. If all you can do, like you said, is you know, do the introduction, the engagement and the wedding, all of us will still be called Mrs. Well, and Mrs. Yes, yes, yes. No, before, before Brian says this, I want to ask Kiki this question. You know you have, you have pressed on the, on the fact that a, a, you should do according to your pocket. Mm -hmm. Now where I'm coming from is in a case, because I have somebody, I have a practical example, he caused the problem and they did not get married at the end of it all. Oh, wow. The man does not have the money to do this. The woman is pressing for it, the woman's family is pressing for it, and then we have the bride price that is killing the man and everything. So, so in that case, what would you advise the man to do in that case? And you know, what message would you send to the woman? You know? No, she's not ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's it now. There were there, there some certain things that I wanted. I even as my, my, my parents that were sponsoring the wedding literally told me, we can't do this. Mm. Like, I literally wanted a very big LED dance floor. Wow. Like, I'm sure what I eventually... And my father told me that, excuse me, if you cannot dance on this one, maybe you should get down and go and dance on the floor. <laughs> on the floor. At the end of the day, I had what I had then. I was happy. So I'll just say that she's not ready. If you cannot understand that, you can't always have what you want. And if you cannot understand that things will always not go the way you want, then you're not ready for life at large. Okay. Because in marriage, I there think, are certain I things not, that I may not can. agree because the truth is, then again, you should also know the kind of person you're married to or the person you're planning to get married to. No, there should be some flip. sort of... No, people I know, flip. I, I tell you, sort of, yeah, people flip. I, 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 I I, I've, I've worked with a lot of brides and I see how people, you know, come into my store with their, with their spouses and then you see the husband looking at the babe like this, like, ah, ah. I'm surprised. Yeah, they have changed it. Weddings do a lot yeah, of things. Yeah, so people flip. So yeah, oh, I thought she was handling this topic. <laughs> 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 no, but, no, 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 I didn't know. Yeah, but in, in, well, in your case, what would you do when you have a woman is pressing for this day and you don't have the financial capacity to cover that? How would you handle that situation? Well, first of all, I wouldn't even try to handle the situation because she has already proved that she, she doesn't like, she's not, she's not here for the wedding or she's not here for the marriage or she's not. She's not here for me. She just exactly. wants something yeah. that is extravagant. Is there, is there a way you can she wants just to try to listen to her needs. I know she can she be She wants. She wants to plead the crowd. She wants to plead. She wants to please herself. She wants it to be so it's, it's not about us anymore. Mm. And I'm not fine. I'm. I'm already not fine with that. Because at the end, because when the wedding is done, and when you know all this is done and everybody goes home, then what happens to me and you? Do you, do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So, you know, so ordinarily, I wouldn't be fine with this, but I would. I would try to speak to her. I'll try to convince her. But if she doesn't agree, then. What, what in the case, so you're an Igbo man. Is it true that uh, the money, the bride price they call for? We used to give them bride price. We used to give them now. Uh -uh. So would you marry an Igbo lady? Of course, why not? No, ah. tri no tribal in the, no, no tribal zone. So you will pay. No, no tribal zone. zone. No you will pay. The heart, so the heart again, wants what the heart like... wants. So, but I, but really though, at the end of the day, I just believe that once a man and a woman can agree on one thing and come together and have that understanding, anything is possible. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's so very you correct. know, that is the first thing you guys should seek. It's not even mm -hmm. about the wedding because after that, there's still life. You guys are still going to live. Mm -hmm. There's still things to be done. You're gonna have kids. You're gonna have of more course, things. You're gonna yeah, have health. I'm not saying you have true, health true. issues, but there's still things you guys still need to come together again and sit down and decide which way forward. So mm -hmm. if this starting point is already going bad. Then now, that's, now, that's, that's like the beginning of the problem. To wrap up this episode, the truth is a lot of things that play a major role in decision. The people involved, the couples, which is primarily two of them. Then there's family sometimes because the family, family wants this and the family, family. wants that. Ah. You know, so there's a lot. It's, like you said, the two people have to sit down and determine this is what we want. If we want mm -hmm. a lavish wedding, if we want just a great wedding. And if mm -hmm. it's a small wedding, it's fine. It's just about two of you now knowing this is what you want. Did you see Dwayne Johnson's The Rock? Did you see his wedding? 
I'm sure you did. I'm, I know you didn't. I did you see it? No, I didn't. Did you see it? No, I didn't. I saw you just not, Now, you guys know, for someone who has over, about 150 yes. million followers yeah. on Instagram, yeah. none of you saw his wedding. So yeah. that means it was small then. Guess who was there? Who was there? Uh, him and his wife. Wow. His it was so simple. Oh my nobody. So simple. He knows everybody. Oh. Right. But nobody. Nobody. Because, I mean, that's no, just... But, you know, if you take care of that's how you want to do it. that, though, you know? Yeah. Because I if, think, I, if I, I was think married... a lot of white people... Does he have the money? It might, it might even people. be what the babe wanted. You, exactly. You exactly. Yeah. Does he have the money? Yes. yes does he does. have the influence? Yes. yes does he, he have the connections? Yes, but... Truth. But, Brian, you realize that some cele celebrities, both here in Nigeria, maybe not so mm. many of them, but mm. they just want it very private. There's some who would not even... I know someone who didn't put out a wedding on social media. She got my... But it's just your car. It's your person. So it's who you are. Celebrity or not. Tag or not. Who are you? you get yeah, yeah. But you know, finally for me, I'll just tell you that regardless of how big your wedding is, there will always be a bigger wedding. So don't stress. That's so. Maybe. All right, all right. This has been a very educative episode. Mm -hmm. So please remember that this episode is going to be on YouTube. Yeah. For those people who would like to watch and, and then there's a chance and then that will see it too. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, it's selling market, it's selling market. I sent, I sent you a DM, just holler. I'll, I'll it's your lip, you're making two tone black, I tell you. Like, <laughs> you mean? All right, guys. This is why we call it a wrap on yes. today's episode of yes. What Women Want. I know you had fun, and I know you picked one or two from our discussions over here. Remember.